In two different universities in the southwest of England, researchers are developing new ways of creating and employing composite materials to capitalize on their unique properties, which have made them an ideal substitute for many traditional construction materials. At the University of Bath, with the help of Airbus engineers, they're examining how they can design aircraft wing structures made out of carbon fiber composites. By building up layers of carbon fiber held together by epoxy resin, they create a laminate on a mold, which is then placed into an autoclave, which heats the laminate to about 200 degrees centigrade and applies around seven times atmospheric pressure in order to cure the laminate. The resulting structure is very strong, rigid, light, and capable of withstanding enormous pressures. Even a deliberately flawed strut only starts to buckle after four tons of pressure is applied and breaks after five tons. Well, currently, um, air aircraft structures, about 15 or 20 percent of current aircraft structures are made out of carbon fiber composite material. And structure for structure, we can save about 30 percent of weight that's particularly significant because for every ton saved, there are about 3,000 tons of fuel weight saving over the life of an aircraft. Parts of the new Airbus A380, including the main central wing box within the fuselage, are made of composites, as too is the tail structure. Future aircraft are set to use even more advanced materials. The next generation Airbus passenger jet will have wings made entirely of composites. Another aspect of their research could open up even greater efficiencies in the future and transform aircraft construction. By using specially designed laminates combined with shape-changing electrical devices called piezoelectric fibers, they can make a laminate change shape or morph from one position to another, which could mean a new approach to wing design, doing away with flaps, etc., if you could actually make the wing itself change shape. Composites are ideally suited to this because we can tailor the layers of material, we can apply piezoelectric patches to induce shape change. And what this means is, for example, in a wing structure, we could change the profile of the wing during cruise and therefore optimize the performance of the wing over the cruise of the aircraft. Once again, this would introduce even greater fuel efficiencies if you could change the shape of a wing throughout the takeoff, landing, or even cruising sections of a flight. While the construction of multi-layered laminates at the University of Bath needs an autoclave to cook the materials, at the University of Plymouth's Advanced Composites Manufacturing Centre, they are recognised as a world leader in resin infusion technology and in training people to use it. In this process, the carbon fibre materials are laid into a mould, then the air is drawn out to create a vacuum, which then draws the resin in. Because these composites can be cured without an autoclave, they are much more flexible to work with, and particularly good for large structures where an autoclave would be impractical. These wind turbine blades are 40 meters long and made of composite materials. They were made for Vestas Technology UK, one of the three leading suppliers of wind turbines who work closely with the ACMC. We developed a resin infusion process with them for manufacturing 40 meter wind turbine blades. This has allowed the reduction in process time from 48 hours for a hand laminated blade to 24 hours with a resin infused blade. To install this technology within the company, we've had a, a long-term training program, training engineers and shop floor workers. Composite materials lend themselves particularly well to the renewable energy sector as a whole, not only for their lightness and strength, Metallic turbine blades, for example, would be uneconomic and would not last as long, but composites are particularly corrosion resistant and durable even in a hostile environment. Composites generally perform much better than metals in fatigue or cyclic loading, which is what turbine blades experience for almost all of their working lives. Just some of the reasons that composite materials are increasingly being viewed as the construction materials of the future.